Pro Group Management. Workers Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start off with your top stories brought to you by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. A woman who left her five-year-old daughter locked inside of a hot bedroom leading to the girl's death was sentenced to 10 to 25 years in prison. 25-year-old Kamaya Taylor's two-year-old and five-year-old daughters were found in a bedroom at the family's home near East Pile Avenue and South Maryland Parkway. Police said the five-year-old had been dead for an extended period of time. Taylor pleaded guilty but mentally ill last month to second-degree murder and child abuse. On top of the prison sentence, Taylor is also ordered to undergo mental health treatment behind bars. Prosecutors are considering the death penalty for a man accused in two killings within nine hours of each other. 42-year-old Jesus Gonzalez was arrested in connection with the fatal shooting of 37-year-old Ashley Figaro. He was also suspected in killing 39-year-old Jose Soto. He is being held without bail and is expected to appear in court again March 9th. Tesla is set to receive $330 million in tax abatements over the next 20 years. Under the deal approved by members of the Governor's Office of Economic Development Board, Tesla will be exempt from paying payroll and property taxes for the next 10 years and would pay reduced sales for the next 20. The new tax abatements follow Tesla's announcement earlier this year that it plans to invest about $3.6 billion to expand its operations in northern Nevada. And the city of North Las Vegas will hold its first school mariachi competition at Craig Ranch Regional Park Saturday from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. The competition will bring together bands from 26 high schools and middle schools. The event will feature food trucks and competitions throughout the day in a family-friendly environment. Five esteemed judges from across the country will oversee the battle for the overall grand prize with prize money and custom trophies. Admission and parking is free. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, the Las Vegas Strip is expected to be madness in March and only partly because of the NCAA men's basketball tournament. Hotel revenues are projected to hit records as tourists and conventioneers flock to Southern Nevada. Several major resort operations on the Strip said during the fourth quarter earnings call in February. Industry watchers aren't surprised by these projections because they heard these comments coming from CEOs during earnings call season. There are so many events that bring people into town, it's natural to assume that the visitation will follow. The special events calendar this month is full of concerts, sporting events, and conventions that bolster normal seasonal tourism and meeting levels. Now for your weather report brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. With early March storms bringing widespread moisture, there's no need to water your grass often. But spring watering rules started Wednesday and run through April 30th. The watering restrictions permit landscape irrigation up to three days assigned per week. To find your assigned watering days, visit snwa.com. And for more watering restrictions and conservation tips, visit lvrj.com backslash local. Happy Friday, everyone. Sunny skies is forecasted for today with highs around 60 degrees. Tonight, partly cloudy skies with light winds, lows in the upper 30s. For the weekend, breezy conditions all weekend long, highs ranging in the low to mid 60s. Winds will start at around 15 miles per hour, but could increase to 30 miles per hour by the afternoon. Wind gusts as high as 50 miles per hour. Similar conditions on Sunday, partly cloudy skies to start your work week. Vegas Nation, brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the mobile app today. It would seem the Raiders have their new defensive line coach after moving on from Frank Oakham after one season. Though the move has not been made official by the Raiders, Ravens head coach John Harbaugh announced this week that his outside linebackers coach, Rob Leonard, would take over the reins as the Raiders' new defensive line coach. Leonard, who has coached for 10 years in the NFL, has also worked with Raiders defensive coordinator Patrick Graham at two stops in his career, once with the Giants and again when he was with the Dolphins in 2019. In your health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. Sandwiches are convenient and delicious, but not all of its fillings are the healthiest. If it's gone through a grinder and had sugar and salt and other things added, it's now been more highly processed. Dr. Katherine Zaraski of Mayo Clinic says pairing sandwiches with other nutritional foods like fruits and vegetables add needed potassium to your diet. Potassium, on the flip side from sodium, you have two nutrients that can work for and against your blood pressure. And so you're just creating a better balance overall. Be sure to also use a whole grain bread to get your fiber. 
Here's the latest in sports. Las Vegas will host several major sporting events this weekend, including Big League Weekend at the Las Vegas Ballpark on Saturday and Sunday, with games starting at 1.05 p.m. The Oakland A's will take on the Cincinnati Reds on both days, and the probable starting pitchers have been announced. For Saturday, Reds' Hunter Green will take the mound against Oakland's Drew Rosinski, and on Sunday, Aviators alum and 2022 American League All-Star Paul Blackburn faces a lefty, D and Nick Lodolo. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Vipers are 0-2 and in search of their first XFL win. They're three-point home underdogs at William Hill Sportsbook to the Seattle Sea Dragons in Saturday's game at Cashman Field. The total is 38, and the Vipers are plus 143 on the money line. The XFL has a triple header on Sunday with the D.C. Defenders as three-point favorites over the St. Louis Battlehawks. The Arlington Renegades are favored by 8.5 over the Orlando Guardians. And the Houston Roughnecks are four-point favorites over the San Antonio Brahms. In your entertainment news, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. TGIF, if you're still looking for some things to do this weekend in Vegas, look no further. Review Journal Jen Ah has our top 10 list. We're bringing you 10 events in less than a minute. Here we go. Kyle Busch looks to clinch his second victory when NASCAR returns to the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. And check out the Colts owner's memorabilia collection for free downtown. For a live rendition of Let It Go, Frozen extends its run at the Smith Center. Plus, the A's take on the Reds as Big League Weekend returns to the Las Vegas ballpark. Over at MGM Grand Garden, there's Jimmy Buffett and the Coral Reefer Band. And March Madness at the Thomas & Mack Center. The Pac-12 women continue at the Michelob Ultra Arena and men at the T-Mobile Arena. Also, the Flaming Lips are coming to the Brooklyn Bowl. And Las Vegas Master Singers present The Caged Bird Sings at the Loden Theater. For foodies, Hank's Fine Steaks is presenting its six-course dinner with wine pairings. For seafood, Bonefish Grill is offering its Lenten Angler's Catch every Friday. For more, go to LVRJ.com. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have an Amazon Fire TV, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, happy Friday. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.